Hello and welcome to episode 14 of series 1 of Master League Story Mode. Today is a massive day because it is none other than the Fiery Encounter. Yes, Zachariah Bacali speaking out. Anyway, it is none other than the East Lancashire Derby, also known as the Cotton Mills Derby. A uh, little bit of history of that area obviously involves a lot of cotton mills. That's all I know. Maybe Google it for more information. But yes, Blackburn are hosting their local rivals Burnley at Ewood Park. I think there's only about 10 or so miles between the two clubs. So it's going to be a real grudge match. And this is going to be properly hard. I think last week I either got confused in that I thought it was a Derby game, but it was just a game against Derby. Or Proeva got it wrong. Could be either one, but it was that wasn't a proper derby. This is a proper derby. And this is where it's going to get really tough. Not only because derby games in Master League this year are really difficult, as I said last week, and then we won by three goals. But the real genuine ones are difficult. They do get a massive boost. So not only that, but also Burnley are only four points behind us in the league. And they're part of the top three, including us and Hull City. And they're part of three teams who have really dominated the league this season. So there's a couple of different factors coming into play here. Um, before we get into the game, I found a brilliant video. I was having a little look around the Cotton Mills Derby, East Lancashire Derby. And it is the famous chicken released onto the pitch incident. So let's have a look at a little clip of that. Brilliant, obviously. We haven't mentioned the Venkies much since episode one. Uh, the chicken production, chicken farmers, whatever you want to call them, company, who also own Blackburn Rovers and have been involved in a lot of controversy over how the club's been run. Anyway, before we get into the game, we're just going to hand over to Tim, who's got a few words to say about the importance of derbies. He's played in a few. He's played in this one, and uh, he's managed a few as well. So uh, let's go over and see what the reporter wants to hear from him. Hello, Tim. Uh, just one question, really, about the derby. How do you impress on your young foreign players, maybe some of your new signings, like Zachariah Bakali or Robbie Ulari, the importance of a derby game of this sort? Well, we tell them that this is this is a it means an awful lot. It's not just a normal game. This is um, we can only do it by talking to them, really. And and the experienced players in our dressing room who have experienced local derbies can can also help them along with that. Um, it is going to be intense. You know, it is a, it's a big game and it's a game what I think a lot of them can handle. The ones who I think can handle the game will be on the pitch. So there we go. Wise words. Now, I think we should just get into it. Oh, this is going to be tricky. So let's have a look and see how our team is doing. Now, in the last episode, I opened it up to the viewers, to you, the viewers, to see who should start up front after Obiulari had an absolute stormer of a first full start for the club with an, with an assist and a hat-trick in the last game. Now, uh, unfortunately, I've had to record this episode a little bit sooner than I normally do, so I've not had the weekend for you to reply, so I don't actually know if any of you have even voted on this poll. All I do know at this point is uh, regular serial commenter Toko Botza uh, mentioned that he thought I should be playing a 4-4-2. And I definitely agree. And I think that's an interesting formation to definitely try for this game, but maybe try in the future. So we're going to go all out attack in this game. And the good thing is we're coming up against another 4-4-2 here. So this could be a good idea. So I think, unfortunately, Evans is going to have to drop to the bench. And then we're going to see how we can get all these players in. I think we'll drop Bakali and then G back a bit. You know, keep things a bit tighter. And then we'll play Danny Guthrie and Verisu just in front of him there. Actually, no, we'll play them both alongside each other. And then we've got two up front for the first time this season. Really exciting. We've got Olari, hopefully, who can uh, provide Rhodes with some knockdowns. And, uh, yeah, this is going to be exciting. I'm looking forward to playing this new new formation for the derby. There's been a lot of uh, pressure from the fans to start playing Obi starting him in games because he's performed so well in the last game. And you know how fickle fans can be. So they've seen a player they like and they want him to play more. So there we go. We're going to give it a go in this game, in a derby game. But, you know, Tim likes to live dangerously, as do I. Quick look at Burnley before we get into this. They've got Ashley Barnes and Sam Vokes. They're playing two up front as well. Two dangerous clinical strikers. They've got George Boyd on the left who can whip in a ball as good as anyone else. And they've got Joey Barton, 
the master agitator and uh, midfield destroyer who should be a challenge for Verito and Guthrie who aren't exactly the most combative of central midfielders although Danny Guthrie who's on a red has uh, been putting himself about pretty well recently so uh, I think that covers it let's get into the game so it's a sellout crowd here at Ewood Park for the East Lancashire Derby a cotton mill derby and there's an extra flavour of pressure on for both teams today as they're both in the battle for the automatic promotion spot so it's going to be a really tight one we're going with a new formation today which might throw out the team spirit a little bit but um, we want to get Alari and Rhodes playing together so uh, I'm happy to do that Tim happy to take a little bit of a risk but one that could potentially pay off Lots of expectation there today. There's Rose and there's Ulari. The two big men up front. So we're off. Again, this is a derby match, which means the difficulty will be ramped up. Boyd, early ball into Barnes. That's good play, but Duffy able to come across and cut that out. Essentially now Henley and uh, Spur are going to have a bit more of a role to play here. And G uses his pace to get ahead of Duff. He's got Alari in there. Flicks it in. Oh, it's just come off the defender. So Alari with a throw into Vera too. The throw's off target. That's no good there. Duffy again in really well. Good turn from Vera too. Oh, and Guthrie taken out with a late challenge there. And that's a yellow card. First yellow of the game. You'd expect in a derby match for there to be some pretty strong tackles, but this one deemed a little bit too strong by the ref. So let's, uh, this is our first chance to look for the head of Obi Ulari. See if we can get the knock down. We can. Into MG. Oh, it's a great little first time shot. That gives us another dimension having Obi in there for those set pieces. He isn't going to miss many at. Probably six foot four. 90 odd body balance. He is a bit of a beast. At only 19. Ah, oh, Duffy can't quite win it back. Boyd gets away from Henley and it's 1 0 already. Boyd shrugged off Henley there. Oh, that came out of nowhere from Burnley. Disappointing start for Blackburn here. Let's run that back, see what happened. Ball into... Oh, it was a nice little miss pass. Duffy came in, but that is an incredible ball. Totally blind ball out to Boyd. Who's stronger than Henley and finishes well. Steele potentially could have done better. That's a great ball from Ashley Barnes. Henley tried to get a foot in. No, it's a good finish. Well, not the best of starts. Uh, we've seen some encouraging play here from Blackburn, though, so... Oh, another poor tackle there from Burnley. Spur comes out, does really well to win that back. Akali. Good play there. Needed to get that right. It's an early ball into Rhodes. Can he get there ahead of the defender? He can't. He can. Cuts it back to Laurie. Oh, just couldn't get there ahead of Duff. Good play by the Burnley defender. Good pressing there from NG. Oh, nearly won it back. Nearly had a goal there. That was unfortunate. Hanley, good header. That was really risky. Great ball into Guthrie. Through on goal. Guthrie doesn't finish. That's not really where we want him. He's not a good finisher, really. Despite what the goal in the... Uh, so a few weeks ago. G turns away from Boyd. Cuts back. Inside to Lari. Ah, oh, the ball was on to and G. I don't know why he went in to that player there. Ashley Barnes not allowed to turn by Duffy. He's been really quick out of defence so far today. Boyd tries to get it into Ashley Barnes again. Barnes has got the run on Duffy here. Not the quickest centre-back, but he does have great power to get that back. Really well played. Bacali not seen much of the ball today. 
I have to find the space. We shrugged off it by Joey Barton. He said, not today, little man. Ooh, well, a mixed half. We've had some decent chances. Ulari could have had one. Guthrie should have had one. But the important stat, as always, is the goal. And that has gone to Burnley. Yep. Yeah. It's been a very close game. Very tight game. So what can Blackburn get in this second half? I think uh, we might actually need a tiny tactical change. I think we're going to drop Guthrie into a defensive role. And we want Veritu to be working with those two centre forwards a bit more. So we'll push him up into attacking midfield. Wins it back really well. Oh, he can't get the ball through to Rhodes. Oh, but Rhodes has won it back here. Oh, that's a foul, surely. Yes, good position outside, of, just outside the box here. Ulari with a powerful run, splitting the defenders. It's a yellow card. It's two yellow cards there for Burnley in the first half. Ulari did well. This could be Jordan Veritu range. There it is, Jordan Veritu range. What a goal. That's his second free kick of the season. And that is a beauty. That was not as close as the last one he scored. That's perfectly curled into the right-hand corner. We're back in it. Come on, Blackburn. Let's take a look at that. Pretty far out. Oh, it's got some wicked curl on it. It was the only really place he was going to put it. The wall maybe could have done more. Maybe not the best positioning. That's a great free kick. We're back in it. If we can't sign Verity on a full transfer at the end of the season, then uh, we're really going to miss that sort of class from set pieces. Oh, Bacali, there's a bit of a misunderstanding there. Steel does pretty well there. Oh, that's good play from Olari. Puts in row, Veritu. Great finish, calm finish from Jordan Veritu. Went a little bit quiet there as I really had to concentrate. The Burnley defenders have tracked back well and Veritu had very little time to think. But he slotted that neatly into the left-hand side of the goal. Good link-up play from Ulari and Rhodes. I mean, that's what having those two centre-forwards does is there's always an outlet for that one-two pass. And then the f little... Uh, Tactical change at the beginning of the first half really paid off as Veritu, in a much more attacking position than he was in the first half, is able to benefit from that 1-2 play from Lillari and Rhodes. And he just passes it past the keeper. Great goal. We're ahead in the derby. Good ball in from Spur there to Veritu. He's got multiple runners. The ball into Rhodes. Keeper stays on his line. Jordan Rhodes. Great tackle there from the Burnley centre back, that was an absolute gargantuan tackle almost certain goal there from the Flying Scotsman if he was able to get his shot away G does well to get ahead of the man oh that's really poor from Henley oh, look at that Duffy though he's been great today Hilari so much pace, power here Goes on his own. Oh, the tackle just comes in at the right second. Burnley looking to build something here. They really need a goal now to get back into, with a chance of winning this game. Boyd comes inside Henley again. He's really got the measure of the right back. Oh, it's a great tackle from Duffy. Can Loughton get there? He can. It's a decent idea with the ball through to Arfield along the floor, but it's too hard. Look at that. Duffy has been incredible today. Man of the match performance for me. If we can hang on to this, this will be a famous win coming from a goal down. Two Jordan Veritu goals. Deserved player of the season if he gets it. He should do. Evans doing what he's been paid to do. Coming onto the pitch, breaking up play, putting in tackles. That's good play though. Can G get back? He can. He does really well. Oh, Rhodes. Oh, not Rhodes. Guthrie making a few mistakes here. Duffy needs to stay with his man. Keeper coming out. It's well tracked by Duffy. He's been a mountain of a man today. One to Evans. Oh, he's fortunate to get that back. Well-weighted ball into Rhodes. This could be the finishing touch. 
and it is. 3-1. Oh, it's been a tough game, I have to say. But once again, the real class of Blackburn Rovers, and really the signings that have made that class have been Jordan Veritu this season. He has been incredible. Jordan Rhodes, who as we thought at the beginning of the season would be our star striker, and he's definitely proved that. Although I'm liking the two up front that we played at the beginning of this. I think we might actually switch to that. Well, we were able to hit the uh, the onrushing Burnley on the break there for the third goal. But there it is. The Cotton Mills Derby. Won by Blackburn Rovers at their home stadium. They're very pleased here. And not only is that a crucial win for the fans against their bitter rivals. But it is a massive three points against automatic promotion place, place rivals Burnley. That's a big one. It's a pretty equal game really looking at the stats. Uh, we had the shots. They had the possession. We had the goal scored. And that's what that's what counts. And look at that. That's the big one at the bottom. 13 tackled. That's huge. Huge stat. Man of the match, Jordan Veritu. No surprise there. Great free kick. And then a lovely calm finish for the second. Uh, he did really well. Ulari did well. Playing up front in a 4-4-2 in a formation. It's always going to be at the uh, detriment to Bacali and G, Who aren't playing out as wingers. And are asked to do a bit more defensive work. So they're not going to get the numbers that they have been getting. Evans came on and did well. Setting up the goal. The third goal for Jordan Rhodes. So the invincible Blackburn Rovers storm on. And that was to be our biggest test. Absolutely. And uh, we've come out of it with a win. And at the end it felt quite convincing. But probably wasn't. So still no losses. Nothing in that L column. We're the only team in the league undefeated. And that puts us seven points clear of Burnley. Great result. Really great result. 54 goals in 16 games. Bloody hell. It's a lot of goals. And we're at the end of the month again already. This has come around pretty quickly. Let's take a look how we're doing. Ulari is uh, the one that sticks out for the goal assist and rating rankings this, this, uh, this month. Third in goals, second in assists, second in average rating. Obviously it's Veritu. With four goals. That's massive. Okay, let's look at the rankings here. Vera 2. Top on just about everything except for the defensive stuff. He is just an insanely great player for our team. We've got to keep hold of him. That's the big test for Tim and the board at the end of this season. Let's see if we can secure him on a full transfer. But I can't imagine Villa, with the performances he's been, he's been putting in, wanting to let him go. But we'll see. Team of the month. Obi-Ulari and Jordan Rhodes. Hopefully our... Centre forward partnership moving forward are uh, dominating as usual as we do in the attacking portion of the team of the month. Looking good. Evans and Guthrie sneaking in as well. Nice. Veritu improving as well. Yes, Ulari looks like he might be getting a performance boost. And Olsen, as we know, is injured. Okay, so let's get into the next game. We're up against, who are we playing? Charlton Athletic. Who are not in the top seven. So we'll see how this goes. They're coming off the back of a massive win. Although team spirit seems to be down. I'm not sure how that is the case. Um, maybe it's because we dropped Evans. I'm not sure why that would be. Uh, but let's go. Let's have a look at the team. So we're playing with our new formation. I've made this permanent now. Thank you Toko. I think we've maybe hit on something here. I think because we, we want to play Ulari, you know, he's 19 years old, he's got a lot of potential. Let's look at his stats. Um, his finishing could do with improving, it's only 71. If we can get that up to 75, that's great. 75 header, which is decent. And then you've got the jump and the body balance. That means he should be really, really just consistently brutal when it comes to knockdowns to Jordan Rhodes. And it gives us another dimension. An attacking prowess of 73 is good, you know, he's got the potential. So uh, we want to be improving him and we couldn't really play, you know, in the formation we had before. We had to choose between Rhodes and Ulari. Um, so that's fine. And then actually, what was that quite well? Oh, Steel not looking great. So it's first start of the season for Eastwood. We'll see how he does. Uh, quick look at Charlton. Uh, yeah, they've got some decent looking players. Cashy, central midfielder at 75. They've got a strong centre back, 73 rated. Um, okay, let's get into it. Okay, here we go. After the excitement and the 
the thrill of the derby. We're back at home again, back at Ewood Park for a table against a game against mid-table Charlton Athletic. Let's see how we do again with our 4-4-2 formation. Or it's more like a 4-1-3-2. So still pretty offensive, really. But Bukali and in G asked to drop back a little bit and do some more defensive work than playing as the pure strikers that they were. But you know, I think to get Ulari in the game is worth it. Road starts off with a nice shot, parried by the keeper. Just gives the defences uh, just something else to think about, really, having the the height of Ulari alongside Rhodes. It's a good play there. Ah, oh, Bacali to Veritu. Veritu's pass straight to the opposition player. That's a poor pass from Ng. Ball back inside to Kashi. Duffy in again strongly, and he comes out with it. Really well played. See what Ng's got for pace on this guy. Does him with ease. Also the ball through to Ulari. Can he get there ahead of the man? He can. The chip's off. But he finds a lovely, kind rebound off the keeper there. The chip was well under hit. But the ball came straight back to him. And in the form he's in at the moment, he did not hesitate. He fired that straight back in. Great play from Obi. Off the mark already. Ng, good powerful run down the right. Spotted the run of Ulari, used his body strength to get in front of the centre-back. Remember, 93 body balance. The chip's massively under here, but the keeper can only parry it. Right back into the path of the big Belgian. And that's 1-0. This is better play here from Charlton. Got Goodmanson in a bit of space. He's got the big man in the centre. Spur comes out, nullifies that threat instantly. Bacali out to Guthrie, back out to Spur. This is good play here. He's got Rhodes and Ulari outside of him. Nice pass into Rhodes. Ulari's there. The cross is lacking, really. He was in the wrong position. Great play from Ng to get there. Tight interplay. Ooh. Oh, Ulari can get a shot away. Rhodes nicks it back. Carly dancing away from the defenders. Zakaria Bakali and it's 2-0. <laughs> when you get him in those positions, he is like a wet ferret. There's just no way you're going to catch him. Dances past one, past two. It looked like he'd um, run into a bit of a cul-de-sac there. But it's a little step over, back in. The defender just gives up, as does everyone else. It's an easy finish. It's comfortable. Suns are up so far, like a lovely old sweater. Oh, that is poor. Ulari, Rhodes, into Veritu. Oh, he couldn't quite get it in. Oh, it's a good play from Vettico, but then Hanley able to just nick it away. And G here. Great play from Ng. Henley with men to choose in the middle. Whips it in. Back post to Veritu. Knocked down to Rhodes. Oh, the left foot shot. Just wide of the post. Great. Intelligent knockback there. Onto Rhodes, hits it with his weaker foot. Actually, the two strikers works well with the Giza press. In that we now have two players to close down the defence. Oh, he's won it away there, just as I was speaking about that. Oh, the ball through to Bacali in his own goal. Oh, my word. It's too easy. It was a nice ball, nice idea from NG. Ulari and, and G conspiring to pressure the defender into winning it back. Spots the great run of Bacali. And G slips it through. Don't know what the keeper was doing. Oh. Duffy. Not a problem for Duffy there. That's 3 0 at half time. An all too familiar case of a bottom to mid championship team against this Premier League quality, surely, Blackburn Rovers team. Definitely Premier League quality if we can. Keep hold of Jordan Veritu and Clinton and G, our loan signings, who have really made the team something special this season. Guthrie just wins it back and wins it back, and another one, and another one. Carly, the ball through to Rhodes. Oh, it's telegraphed. We don't seem to be suffering from the uh, one less man in central midfield so far. I don't know how that's going to play. Well, I mean, I suppose actually we played against what was... Potentially our toughest test in the last game with only two in midfield. And that, that went fine. Lari, can he get there? He can't. It was a decent ball through from Bacali. 
Off he steps out of defence, misses it, but so does the Charlton player. G, Henley making a great run from defence. He's got options inside. Jordan Rhodes. Oh, could have been four. Should have been four, really. Verity wins it back with absolute ease. That's does Ulari. Carly. The curler, Zachariah. Oh, that's a lovely finish. They're all getting in on the act now. And that's another great goal from the young, tiny midget of a Belgian, Zachariah Bacali. Great little slip ball from Rhodes. bacali has got the pace to trouble the defender, but he cuts back in. Right foot curler, as is his trademark, cutting in off that left flank. Larian Rhodes starting the game, starting the build up there. Carly simply inside. See you later. It's four nil. Well, one back there. Duffy, don't know what you're doing there. Vera two powers away from his man. Good ball through into Rhodes. Left foot finish. Clinical stuff here from Blackburn. Just tearing them apart. Veritu into Rhodes. Jordan to Jordan Axis once again. It's fruitful. Look at the way Veritu just sighs through the defence there. Great run from Rhodes. Good ball. Took his time with this finish. One more touch than he'd normally take. And he drags it neatly with his left foot across the keeper. And that's that. 5-0. Another convincing win at home. The Blackburn Rovers who march on still unbeaten in the league. Not a single sop shot from Charlton. That is just desperate. Desperately poor. Bacali, un unsurprisingly man of the match. He had a great game all round. Good performance. Ilari did well. He got his goal. As did Rhodes. Really easy stuff for everyone there. So that is pretty much all we've got time for this week. Follow me on Twitter. Keep an eye out on my Twitter for the live stream of me playing in the Pez Universe Pez Euros tournament that I mentioned in the last episode. But other than that, uh, I will see you in a bit.